In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, we have the whole kind of behind the scenes look of Jesus with his men on his last night. There's the Lord's Supper, there's the betrayal by Judas, and there's that final time when Jesus institutes what we know as the Lord's Supper or communion. And he says something that's very interesting and you can miss it if you don't understand the culture and what's going on with the whole meal. Listen to what he says. He says, this is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. And I say to you, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. With you guys at the marriage supper of the lamb is what he's talking about. And, and here's some of the background. See, for a Galilean wedding, the groom would come and he would betroth himself to his bride. But they wouldn't be legally married. The, the marriage wouldn't be consummated till much later. But he would come and he would give her a cup of wine to be betrothed to her. And right there, she would decide if she was going to be in covenant or in relationship or betrothal to this man. And she would drink the cup. And later, they would have the marriage supper, probably a week or so later, maybe even beyond that. It was kind of like Joseph and Mary were betrothed, but they weren't yet married. So Jesus takes the cup and he says, here's a new covenant. You're going to be my bride, but I'm not going to drink this again until we're together at the marriage supper of the Lamb. So we're betrothed to Jesus. He's our groom, we're the bride, and we're so looking forward to him coming again, which could be soon, and we will sit down with our groom, the church, the bride, at the marriage supper of the Lamb. That's his promise, that's reality.